Well, welcome back. You know, it's easier than ever to take your child to the doctor now with virtual appointments and also telemedicine. Dr. Matthew Harding, pediat pediatric surgeon with Children's Memorial Herman Hospital, is joining us now to explain how it all works. Welcome to the show, doctor. It's great to see you. And first of all, along the lines of telemedicine, let's really talk about some of the benefits because I know that during the last month, telemedicine has really seen a lot of growth. And are patients finding that there are a lot of benefits to that? Yeah, Derek and Courtney, thanks so much for having me on, on Houston Live. It, it, this is a really important topic, and I appreciate you guys uh, highlighting it. Um, you know, telemedicine is something that's actually been around for a long time, and a select you know, group of patients have been using it, and that number's been growing. But quite clearly, all of our lives changed, um, you know, a couple of months ago. And I think uh, a large number of people started to realize that they either didn't have a choice or that it was time to start to embrace a new way to, to see their, their uh, physician. And so we've seen a lot of patients really enjoying the benefits or even the necessities in this time of telemedicine, not having to drive, not having to be in the clinic and be exposed to other patients that are sick, um, some time saved there, uh, and also well, relatively quick access. Um, and, and so it's really a convenient way uh, to be able to manage um, uh, certain medical conditions and to be able to get um, you know, the right care uh, at the right time. And Dr. Harding, let's just jump into it too, because when we're talking about virtual medicine for our children and the pediatric patients, when is the best time to use that? I mean, clearly we're in a, in a situation now where um, we're forced to, right? But uh, when would be the right thing? I mean, is it a cold? Is it a rash? I mean, what kinds of things are you seeing? Sure, Courtney, that's a, that's a great question. And, and it's really a question where the answer is in evolution, okay? Um, I think that we can all safely say that in a time where social or physical distancing became a mandate and became really, really important for the health of our entire community, our entire city and beyond, telemedicine became a necessity. So in times like that, where there are disasters, difficulty traveling, uh, the need to be able to separate, use telemedicine, you know, the, just the definition of telemedicine really involves three things, technology, space between people and the ability to, to render care. And so anytime where you have challenges in that domain, telemedicine is great. Now it gets a little bit more complex as we drill down into specific diagnoses or specific types of cases or care. But I can tell you in a number of different realms, it's important sometimes in emergency care, linking hospitals and getting expertise to be able to look at a patient right away or to determine that they need to travel to a higher level of expertise or a hospital with different capabilities. Sometimes it's the simple straightforward uh, uh, visit with your doctor where you need to ask a question, show them something specific. Sometimes it's in the post-operative setting where they wanna ask you some really detailed questions. They wanna see your incision. Um, they want to get a gen general sense of how you're doing. Um, and, and sometimes there are unique uh, situations where telemedicine really helps to bridge uh, that gap. You know, in the same sense, I can also say that there are certainly conditions and situations where telemedicine is not the best way. You know, telemedicine is not looking to replace all of medicine or even, you know, a large portion of it. There are times when you've got to be in person to have an operation or to be seen specifically by your doctor where the physical exam is really important and you can't turn that into a visual physical exam. So I think it's important to ask your doctor, to speak with your doctor about whether it's important and to ask those questions to find the right time to use it for your specific need. And Dr. Harding, you mentioned linking hospitals and providers. We should point out that you guys have a collaboration between UT Physicians, UT Health, and Children's Memorial Hermit. So this essentially just expands the eyeballs and the resources available to help, correct? Eric, that's, that's exactly right. And, and again, we, we use technology for so many things in our daily lives to easily find our way home or to connect you know, with our kids when we can't be there, when we're traveling or when we're in other places using uh, uh, technology to be able to connect in healthcare is just something that really has escalated in this COVID phase. And so it's true that Children's Memorial Hermann Hospital and the University of Texas system at UT Health and, and UT Physicians if you're a patient, you kind of link into that system and, and you may be touched by all of those players. And so if you have a clinic that's at UT Physicians, but you're seen for your surgery at Charles Memorial Hermann Hospital and your doctor is a uh, professor uh, on the medical school campus, uh, telemedicine can really link 
space uh, and, and time in that way. And so it, it's true that there are a number of different technologies used by all of these systems that work together to really meet the patient where they are. And this is so great, doctor, because I think a confused mind says no, and we should take the confusion out of this because making a virtual appointment is very simple. You know, it's true. Um, you know, I, I was telling you guys, uh, Derek and Courtney, before the break that it's only a shame that I had to follow the drink uh, mixer guy. But I can tell you it's easier to conduct a telemedicine visit than it is to mix the drink that he was telling us about. You just need to talk to your doctor and you need to say, <laughs> you know, we'd, we'd like to move forward um, and do this in a, in a telemedicine way. What are the options? There are different technologies and each physician or each clinic might have a, a different option, but oftentimes it's this simple. You schedule an appointment by, by either simply making a phone call or even sometimes you can go online. Um, they send you a link and you click on that link and boom, you're there. Almost as simple as some of these Zoom chats uh, that everyone is getting used to these days and like we're doing right here. It's really a straightforward, reliable way that you can connect with your physician. Well, Dr. Matthew Harding, we're out of time. We've got to leave it there. And we should point out now is not the time to put off care. So if you need care, certainly schedule that. And for more information or to schedule that appointment with Children's Memorial Herman Hospital, you can visit childrens.memorialherman.org or call 713-500-7398. We'll be right back.